Hey, and welcome to the next uh, Better UI video. Here I'll be going over Get Harvest's pricing page. Get Harvest is a invoicing application, web-based app. It also allows people to keep ta uh, keep track of their time and and bill for that automatically. So close that loop. Uh, really cool app. And uh, yeah, I was looking at the pricing page, and I thought there's some. A handful of issues that could uh, could be resolved. Uh, so this is uh, video one of two where I'll discuss these issues, and then the follow up video with the solution will be uh, in the better UI course. So here, actually, uh, compared to some of the previous videos, I adjusted my expression of certainty. So how sure I am about each of these kind of uh, issues that I identified. Uh, here's a net uh, net count. Uh, high, the higher it is, uh, the more certain I am, and it's actually com uh, it's combining two uh, sources of certainty. One, a subjective, so anything I kind of, however I feel between negative three and and three, three being again, I'm being pretty sure. And then this other column here, evidence based certainty, is actually derived from uh, A/B tests or experiments, uh, so, and these two are added together. Okay, so this kind of marriage of of subjective and uh, and uh, evidence-based um, certainty, okay? Um, so I'll go over some of these issues one by one. Uh, the primary metric I'm trying to improve here are uh, paid conversions, paid uh, acqu acquisition of new customers, getting people to uh, sign up and also uh, and pay for uh, becoming, yeah, essentially new customers, all right? Secondarily, uh, free signups. I mean, there's a, if, if this were to be run as a test, we'd also measure uh, the free trials, but the key focus is on uh, on uh, new customer acquisition. All right, so starting with the first one, first issue, uh, the headline here: um, pricing that fits any theme size. I think this again this has an opportunity to uh, to be a bit more benefit driven, as opposed to saying something that you know you have a choice here, you have some flexibility based on how many people you have in your team. I think this could s repeat. Uh, some sort of key message from some of the past landing pages, home pages, marketing, uh, maybe emails, something around saving money, uh, maybe getting paid faster, uh, maybe uh, decreasing the the number of uh, unpaid invoices. Uh, so I think there's some opportunity here to uh, be consistent and and repeat, remind people of. Uh, why they should be using sh should be signing up and bu buying uh, this this tool, okay? So this whole headline could be uh, could be uh, adjusted with that, okay? And I I ranked it as a three. I don't have any tests to back that up, so unfortunately, uh, I'm I'm sure I'm I have a certainty of three. All right. Uh, next thing, anchoring. Uh, so we he here we have all these different uh, prices: twelve forty nine, ninety nine per month. Um, I think there could be an opportunity to overshadow this or, or anchor it with something, some sort of larger number uh, before showing the actual price. Uh, this we've seen to work in, uh, in previous tests. I'm going to flip to another one here to, to show you an example. Here's something we've done for uh, uh, another company. And essentially b before showing, so this was the control, uh, they had essentially uh, an ability to purchase uh, it's, it's a homepage for uh, for purchasing an online based uh, fax uh, so without actually needing uh, a physical fax machine and here's the sign up uh, sign up link it was preceded and the variation was preceded with um, a larger count of how many pages per month that 499 is worth so in this case it's 500 so 500 is an anchor for the smaller price of less than five dollars and we measured sales, and it was uh, an increase of uh, uh, a possible 8.8 .8 increase. So from that, we derive half a certainty point. Okay. So I, getting back to uh, to this page here, I think there could, there could be we could be showing something here. Maybe maybe minutes. How many minutes? How many days? How many hours? Uh, this could save. How many dollars this could save you per year? Um, uh, so something like that. Okay, less choice. Um, I don't have a test to back this up, but essentially these two columns here, basic and business, 
if you actually look at the if you do the math here and and uh, this this is essentially the, like this the business is f from at least from this table here it's exactly the same as basic except uh, it has 10 users okay uh, so all of this here is the same uh, this is just an increase of user count so I think you could uh, there's an opportunity here to just completely remove this business plan and uh, potentially have people uh, focus on the key differences which are in these first three um, okay reaffirming freedom uh, I'm what I mean by this is that the pricing page forces people to sign up for free so if I am a customer if I'm a, if I'm a if I actually love this product and I want to purchase uh, today or commit to purchasing it today by giving my credit card information I cannot do that at least from how I understand this page I mean there's you essentially have to try out 30 day try yeah, go with a 30 day trial and then later on you know you can you can think about that if you want to be a customer or not um, I th strongly feel that this is uh, losing this company money and so I ranked uh, the highest subjective certainty of three and I also have a test to back this up um, to, to give uh, to back up this this idea of giving people a choice of, of signing up for any of these three plans right away and the test I wanted to show you was from data stories uh, issue 13 uh, we ran something for Olark and it had a similar feel where um, the homepage forced people into a sign up free forever plan and only then again later on like someone would after after x days uh, would be uh, would be triggered to to uh, pay um, the test that we ran was actually relink uh, the choice the sign up uh, the, the sign up link to towards a, a pricing plan where they actually could choose to become a customer from day zero, okay, and this in, this sacrificed some signups for uh, real customers for for paid customers, okay. So and this was a strong twenty five percent increase. Um, so trade off between free signups and and paid signups. Um, that's debatable how uh, you know how how valuable that is to a business, um, but uh, given. Or trying to optimize for real customers I think this could be a uh, uh, this could help uh, this this company here as well uh, recommending something very similar uh, all of these plans are equal uh, they're kind of equal weighted I mean these tw this 12 and 29 sticks out a little bit more the price point uh, but other than that there's, there's actually no recommendation and I think uh, you know, given let's say some statistics of, of uh, what the typical uh, user count is if, if it's solo uh, or, or basic I don't know I, I don't know the details of this of, 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 um, of their business um, but uh, something could be recommended here at least solo or basic and I'm expressing that as a three um, social proof I have two pieces of social proof that are very similar. Um, either one could work, uh, but there's yeah, there's essentially no indication here of, of some past customers. Um, so ranking these as three, and also have some tests to back this up. Uh, one test comes from um, uh, here. Here's one example of social proof that has has worked for a product page, not necessarily a pricing page. Uh, but essentially, that, that's what I meant by like authentic social proof. So on this, on this, some sort of product here, uh, there were Instagram photos of actual customers having purchased and used this particular product here, and that apparently increased sales, or sorry, adds to cart by twenty three percent. So that's one idea, and then another idea is also from Data Stories thirty. Uh, where we covered the testimonial pattern based on six tests it had a median effect of 13 percent and we derived uh, one certainty point from that essentially added up all these four and against tests together and uh, 
align it with this with this number number here. So I would just carry it over that. So any any kind of typical testimonial, um, if if, if, uh, if that was applied somewhere here, I think it could also help this uh, this page. And finally, uh, repeating the call to action. Uh, so you scroll down to the bottom, and then there's a bunch of other links to sections within the site. Uh, I think this could repeat some sort of call to action to sign up or purchase something or return back to the uh, uh, to one of the plants. Um, I'm tagging that as a three, and then I have a little test to back that up as well, which is right here. Um, it's a soft test of measured clicks for some sort of page where some sort of landing product page um, where essentially the calls to action were repeated again at the bottom, which increased more clicks to that by 84%. Again, a very subtle, shallow metric and uh, not much data here. But uh, yeah, standard procedure, typically at the bottom of the page, it's good to repeat something. That's that's been mentioned higher up above. So those are the ideas here. Those are the issues. And in a follow up video, again, I'll be doing uh, a solution to this. I'll be sketching a, um, a concept live. All right. Hopefully this was useful. Thanks for watching. See you on the uh, on the next video. Thanks. Bye.